Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Amongst Dows. If you're new here, my name is Samantha. I'm a homeschooling stay-at-home mom of four kiddos, and I am super, super excited to bring this video to you guys today. This video is a collaboration that is being hosted by Jennifer from Family of Three Homeschool. You will find the link to her um, YouTube channel linked down in my description. And this video is also a part of a giveaway. Um, so I have all of the information for the giveaway right here on my phone. I'm going to read that off to you guys so that I get all of the details um, correct and accurate for you. And I will also have them all posted down in my description box um, so you guys can go in there and read all about the giveaway and how to enter and what you are going to be trying to win. So first, there will be three winners as a part of this giveaway. Um, each one of you are going to receive a $100 gift certificate to christianbook.com. And um, all of the entries for this giveaway must be made through Raffle Copter. So again, in the description box, you will find the link for exactly where you need to go to enter this giveaway through Raffle copter and the rules for this giveaway are that it is open to all US residents and you must be 18 years or older in order to enter this giveaway. So the link is going to be available for you guys to enter for this giveaway from Tuesday, August 31st, and it's going to run through Monday, September 6th. So you guys have plenty of time to go to this link and get registered, and I'm wishing you guys all the luck, and hopefully you are one of the three to win a gift certificate to christianbook.com. So the winners will be announced on um, Tuesday, September 7th, and the three winners are going to be contacted directly through email by Jennifer from Family of three homeschool and so make sure you keep your eyes peeled on September 7th um, for an email from famof3 at gmail.com to see if you guys um, win this giveaway and so along with that the winners will be contacted on September 7th but in order for you to receive your gift card you will need to respond to the email from Jennifer by Tuesday September 14th just so that she can get all of the information from you and make sure she is sending these gift cards out to um the rightful winners and where they need to be going. If you have been selected or if you um, were a winner as a part of the giveaway but you don't reach out to Jennifer by September 14th, um, on September 15th there are going to be new winners um, selected. So whether that's one, two, or all three, um, if you have not responded by September 14th there will be win new winners. Um, selected on September 15th and then from there Jennifer will reach out to those people and there will be a deadline for them to um, then respond to the email from Jennifer. So I also want to say this particular giveaway is not sponsored by YouTube, Rafflecopter, or christianbook.com. This is something that Jennifer um, was really sweet and kind to do in pulling all of these wonderful homeschooling moms, families, and their channels together to bring you guys all of the information that we have and why we have chosen to use and why we love curriculum for master books. So make sure that you guys check the playlist that I have linked in the description box so you guys can go and check out all of the other um, videos that are part of this playlist and all of the other moms channels that are included that are giving your perspective on why they have chosen to use master books in their homeschools. So. Um, with all of that being said, today's video and as a part of this collaboration, I'm talking to you guys about um, why we use Masterbooks in our homeschool and in particular why we have chosen to use um, language lessons for a living education, which is language arts from Masterbooks. So when I first pulled my kids out of public school, well, even before that, when I was first considering pulling my kids out of public school, I knew that one of the things that I wanted right off the bat as far as curriculum was I wanted something um, with a Christian perspective. Um, I wanted it to come from a biblical worldview. I really wanted that to be an emphasis and something that was like through and through all throughout whatever curriculum it is that I chose. And so I watched lots and lots of YouTube videos. Um, I went to lots of different websites to look at samples and um, just trying to figure out this homeschool world and curriculum world that I was going to be brand new to. And so in doing that, I came across Masterbooks and instantly was drawn to it. I was drawn to the, um, the short lessons and the Charlotte Mason inspired um, 
flavor of the lessons and the curriculum and it really with everything that I was seeing and how much Jesus was in the curriculum I was really really um, intrigued with that and I was really interested in it because of that so we started off using um, I bought everything at the time I had a kindergartner a second grader and a fourth grader and um, I bought everything for them science math um, social studies their language arts, everything that I bought initially was all from master books. And one of the things that we have stuck with and that we have really been enjoying is the language lessons for living education. And so I have language lessons for living education two, four, and six here. And um, at the end, I'll show you guys just a click, like a quick scope and sequence um, of each one of these and just show you how like each lesson works because one of the things with master books is each lesson contains five exercises and so that's how your kids are working throughout the week it's not one lesson per day it's one lesson per week and then they're doing five exercises throughout the week and I'll show you how we make that work in our four day a week homeschool as well um, so if you've seen any of my curriculum videos, you know that as far as for my girls who would be in these, we these are going to be their backups just because we're trying something else out this year. Um, but since we do know that we enjoy this curriculum, we have it on backup just in case they need to go back to it. And um, if you want to know why they're trying something else, that's in a whole other video. So I will have those linked and you guys can check those out. I talk all about it in their um, specific curriculum pick videos. But for my son, we are going to be using the Language Lessons for Living Education Level 6. And this is the last level before they move into writing strands. So I, I kind of really wish, and my son does too, because he really likes everything about the Master Books Language Lessons. I wish they had higher levels, like Level 7 and 8 for middle school, but it does go into writing strands after this. So just know that up to Level 6, which is about 6th, 7th-ish grade, love the Level 6 is where this ends before they move into writing strands. And so, like I already mentioned, the fact that it is a Charlotte Mason inspired flavor is one of the reasons why we were drawn to it. The short lessons are one of the reasons why my son loves it and is why he wants to stick to it. But also the style of the lessons. Um, that's another thing that we really like. And so I will show you, um, when we say Charlotte Mason inspired, it's because all of the things that are included um, right here where in the teachings helps, it says, these are the things that your kids are going to be doing throughout the week uh, through various exercises. There's stories, poems, and proverbs that they will be reading and writing, um, independent reading, oral narration, memorization, and writing paragraphs. Um, there's picture sketching, spelling and vocabulary, uh, they have book reports, there's Bible scholars, review. It also includes handwriting and assessments in here. And so all of their curriculum, all of their coursework is here at the front of the book. At the back of the book is where all of your teacher aids and all of the like additional things are where those are all going to be found. Um, so there is a recommended reading list for each level. And, the, and all of the books that they pick in here are um, books from a, again, a Christian perspective. They're going to be some of those books. A lot of them are books that they sell on their website as well. So easy to go ahead and pick up, um, check out the book list online and get your curriculum and then still shop on their website for the books. And then there's a space back here for create your own dictionary. And then... Um, where, where it talked about additional biblical scholars, um, it says additional biblical scholars may be assigned for more study opportunities. Um, this is reference passages that are not found in the 10 minute Bible journey. Students will need a Bible to complete these activities. They will need to be familiar with their Bible. They may need to use the extra features of their Bible to find passages. So I really like this because this is the 10 minute Bible journey that's included with the curriculum. So every week they'll do like sketchings from a story in here and they'll write about it and talk about it in the book. They can do oral narration with this also. But like it's saying, outside of the stories that are already in this, this is a way for them to get, to get even more familiar with um, people in the Bible, um, character characteristics in the Bible and things like that. So there's Joseph's story, the Passover, Jericho, Saul's jealousy, 
um, Solomon's temple. There's all different kinds of things. So if you wanted to add even more um, Bible into your homeschool and have it coming out of just the same book, you are very easily able to do that. It has all of the books of the Bible in here listed. There's um, additional writing activities. So if there's something like writing a passage, for example, is something that your kiddo is not interested in doing. Um, here's some other things that you could go to and look back here like, well, what else would you rather write a comic strip or um, a narrative essay or a biography? Um, you can assign those as additional work or you can even replace something in the curriculum that it's asking them to do that they may not be interested in doing. Then this is a way for you to still have um, them get some writing in without kind of like making them not like writing so this kind of helps you like for some of your reluctant writers if they would rather do some of these other writing activities versus writing a passage over something that the book is telling them that's a way for you to get them to be able to um, be more creative and um, find ways to write in a way that they enjoy and then it has a book report template in here um, a United States map there, there's activities and games at the back. Um, there's the paragraph sandwich game there. Um, so again, just lots and lots of resources. Spelling, um, spelling practice sheets back here. Um, and then all of the spelling words are included at the back of the book as well. They have um, the study sheets back here for grammar. So if your kiddo just needs some extra extra help with grammar, you can take these out for um, copy work and practice or memorization practice or something like that. So there's the capitalization and punctuation, um, there's the states and capitals, um, conjunctions, the parts of speech, all eight of them. So basically everything with the grammar, um, there's all about words here. So figures of speech, word types, word parts, word usage, all about writing. So the language lessons for living education is a spiral approach. So a lot of what they're doing in each one of these books is going to be similar to what they did um, in the level before. And the first, like the first few weeks of each one is review from the level before as well, and then kind of build upon each other. And at first glance, when you first get into this curriculum, it doesn't seem like there's any rhyme or reason to what they're doing, but it's because it's based on a exercise base because it's based off of the exercises and not the lessons. Okay, so um, like I mentioned, these pair together. Level six is the only level that uses the 10 minute Bible journey. So my son is really excited about um, being able to read the stories out of this one and get into this one this year. And um, if you have a kid in either levels three, four, or five, then they're going to use the 101 favorite stories from the Bible. And both of my kids, my son really, really enjoyed reading um, the stories out of here, um, more so than any other story Bible that we have or that we've had in the past. He's really enjoyed it a lot. And uh, what's I really love that, the pictures. I really love how well done the pictures in this book are. And I love that they're being asked to draw these pictures in the curriculum. And that's something that my kids have enjoyed out of it. And it's really helped them also with, um, with scripture because they're copying the scripture and they're able to put the scripture with the story and then the picture and kind of visualize um, the Bible. So they've really enjoyed this. And again, you will use this for levels three, four, and five. So my daughter has hers um, for her level four if she were to end up doing that. I have done, as far as their language arts, I have done their Simply K whenever my daughter was in kindergarten. She flew through that so quickly. And then um, last year she did language lessons level one, but we didn't do foundations phonics because we were doing um, something else for phonics. And we really, really enjoyed level one. And I don't have the books with me, but it has um, a few books that go with that as well. And then she would have started on level two this year. And level two doesn't have any books that pair with it. So if you're doing um, level one, there's, you can buy that in a pack and it comes with three additional books. There's like a Grand Canyon book, um, The Doorway to Salvation, and then um, another dinosaur book, I think. 
there's three books that go with it. I can't remember which ones exactly. And then there's level two, which you don't need an additional book for. And then three, four, and five, like I mentioned, you need this book. And then six is this Bible here. And so those are all of the levels and their additional books. In our household, I've had kids that have completed my youngest, Simply, Clay, Simply K level one. Um, my nine-year-old daughter, she has completed level two and three. And then my son has completed level four and five, and he's going into six. And so there are so many good things about um, Masterbooks. I will say my top three favorite things about Masterbooks and why it will, um, and why my son, in, my son specifically loves it because he will be using it again this year. Um, one, the Christian perspective. Um, two, Bible is all throughout this curriculum. Like Jesus is all over this curriculum. And that is just something that I love. My son loves, my husband loves. We love um, how much Bible is included in this curriculum. Um, for his language arts and then number three are the really quick lessons and so <clears throat> we are a CC family and so my son does do IEW and he also does um, some essential stuff from CC and so being able to pair this language arts um, with that is really perfect because it's not because the lessons are so short So I will show you guys what it looks like for the scope and sequence of all three of these books And then I'm going to show you guys what how we make this work for my son for four days a week Let's go ahead and start with the level six and I will show you guys the scope and sequence um, inside of this book here So as you can see here um, in lesson one, it has reading, analogy, noun, sentences, uh, reading, and syllable words. And then there's picture study in lesson two. Um, you'll see that it will change between, sometimes you'll have a reading, and that could be reading out of the 10-minute Bible. It could be reading a poem or a psalm. And then there's um, also picture studies. And that's going to be the very first exercise that they do each week is either a poem, a song, um, or reading out of the 10 minute Bible or a picture study. So that is the um, scope and sequence. As you can see, there is a total of 36 lessons to get you through 36 weeks of school. Um, but like I said, it isn't because it isn't one lesson per day, it's one lesson per week. So there's five exercises in each lesson. And then it says uh, it should take 20 to 30 minutes per lesson, five days a week. And then here are the course objectives. So understand the interactions of the eight parts of speech, master state of being verbs, action verbs, and possessive nouns. Be introduced to different types of conjunctions, compound sentences, and clauses. Identify syllables and practice spelling rules. Identify abbreviations, proper use of punctuation marks, spelling, root words, compound words, and suffixes. Um, learn to create well-written paragraphs based on structure and comprehension. Gain proficiency in the structure of book reports. Develop skills in using the dictionary and a thesaurus for spelling and vocabulary building. Explore the scripture, um, parts of letter writing, and more. And then there is a quick view of the course description. And uh, one of the really nice things is if you go to Masterbook's website, you can see um, in the sample all of the scope and sequence and all of this stuff on there as well. So this is what a typical week would look like. You have week one, which would be lesson one, and there's day one, read story, complete lesson, day two, complete lesson, three, lesson, four, lesson, five, lesson. And then um, as you can see here, this one would be a picture study, um, a story, poem, story picture study and that's what i was saying how sometimes you're reading a poem doing a picture study or reading a story out of the the 10 minute journey bible um, or here reading a proverb so it'll tell you exactly what to do and you can t keep track on all of this about when um if your kiddo is completely independent and you want to use this as like their planning sheet you can write when it's due mark it off when it's done and even put their grade here. And they also give you um, quarter reviews within the curriculum for you to do if you choose to. So here is the very first lesson and it's um, a reading. 
and it tells you right here, read pages 10 to 12 of the 10 minute Bible journey, retell the Bible account to your teacher and then copy the verse. So this is where that oral narration is coming in, um, some copy work, and then they will draw a picture, page 10 to 12. So this would be the first thing that they read. So the beginning, there's page 10 to 12, and this is what they would read. So unlike in this one here, where it gives, um, each story has a specific picture and they're asked to like draw to the best of their ability what's in this picture, um, there's a little bit more creativity here where they can um, draw it on their own. Okay, so that would be lesson one, and or exercise one, and then here's the rest of exercise one, day one, and you can see it, it's just this. So that's literally one day's worth of work. And then over here, we have exercise two, and this is all that they're doing for um, day two. And then we come over here, and here's day three. Um, another grammar practice, and it'll tell you up in the corner what they're working on, whether it's writing, um, reading, comprehension, or like here, grammar practice. So day three has these two pages here. And then here's day four, and then day five. So how I make this work for my son is it kind of just depends on the week and what is being asked as far as the writing. So I know that when we are in essentials, we're going to work on daily and he even has charts to memorize for a declarative, imperative, interrogative, and exclamatory sentence. So this would be something that I would X out and he wouldn't have to do. So here's another day where he they are doing um, the 10 minute Bible journey. So I would have him do this. And then over here where it's spelling practice, this would be one that we would skip because our spelling, he's doing spelling with spelling you see for the first um, half of the school year or until he's done with it and then we'll do and then we will be doing spelling from um, CC Essential. So this would be another page that he would X. So right off the bat, that's um, two that he's not doing. So like this, this would be a no. So that's already day five taken off. And then his um, lesson for day three is even shorter because he wouldn't be doing this side. And so that's how we make it work for a four day schedule. Um, it is also really easy because the lessons are so short to if you need it, if you want it to do all of the pages. So like for day two, because it's just this here, this could be this front and back of this could still be day one. And then for day two, instead of it having be just one page, you can do the front and back. Um, you can do day two and half of day three. And then on day three, he would do day three here with day four and then on day four have your kiddo do um exercise five which would normally be day five so you could do it that way where you're like um just changing how they're doing things or like in my case at least for this specific week he wouldn't do this page at all anyway and so then we come over to um lesson two week two he would start off with a picture study which he is going to do and then here it's so like he wouldn't do this descriptive writing in week two because I already know we're going to be writing a paper in IEW in week two so this is not something that he would be doing um and here for possessive nouns I would probably have him just read over it maybe do this depending on what we're doing in essentials and same with these other pages and then again no, we wouldn't be doing the spelling. And then you go on to lesson three, but that's how we make it work for a four day schedule. Um, it looks like at least in this one, um, we'll be cutting out the spelling that's on day five. And then some of the extra writing exercises, I already know right off the bat, he's not gonna do because we 100% um, focus on writing for IEW. I'll show you guys just a little flip through of this 10 minute um, Bible. I know one thing, like these Bibles and books and stories that Master Books puts out are always so well done. So that's just a little bit of the 10 minute Bible journey. And then I'll start off with a little flip through of the 101 so you can see a difference. And my kids, um, my older two, they've really, like I already mentioned, they've really, really enjoyed reading the stories and examining these pictures 
um, drawing these pictures to the best of their ability and talking about them and discussing them. We really enjoyed how Masterbooks has included this in um, their levels that have it. And so for level four, um, I'll show you this because it kind of shows you how. And so here's the scope and sequence for level four, and it kind of gives you an idea how um, the spiral approach is being presented. If I ha um, my son already, we've already put away level five, so it would have been nice to show you four, five, and six, but um, you can kind of get a general idea. And you'll see even with the level two, how um, things are constantly being introduced or reintroduced, reviewed um, to the student. And again, here you see Psalm, and in level six, it was a proverb. So again, here, as you can see, it starts off the same way with the first, um, with each lesson starting off with either story, picture study, um, poem, So this is what this reading is. So as you can see, you didn't see this in the level six. Um, they're doing more independent in level six, but here they'll have reading together. So you and your kiddo will read this together. And then this is where there is some narration practice. Again, really well done pictures throughout. So this would be a picture study. And then observation. So that is the look at the first two lessons here. And it kinda, this, these are, these first few lessons are review lessons, but it kind of is a lot of the same. With it being a spiral approach, you're gonna see it continuously building upon um, the lessons before or the exercises before the in the previous lesson. And it constantly does that from level to level as well. So I'll just show you guys really quickly the um, scope and sequence for level two and um, the first couple lessons in here as well. So here's that first story um, that you will either read together or your kiddo, if they're at, um, able to read this independently, you can have them read it to you um, and then there, or take turns reading and then there's some narration practice down here. Bye. So instead of analogies, you can see in um, level two, it's working on alphabet, vowels, um, sounds. And instead of practicing the nouns like they were in the upper levels, they're practicing what it actually is. So some copy work here. A lot more copy work in these lower levels, you'll see. So it's understandable. And this is where they get a chance to. So since they're not reading out of um, the favorite stories Bible or anything like that, they can... Um, there's different prompts here for them to be able to tell their story. They can tell it to you. And then down here they can write a sentence or and or draw a picture of it. And then there's that spelling practice. Then this is lesson two. So even in the lower levels, there's ways to find around um, making this work for a four-day schedule, whether you're skipping pages or, you know, pairing it together, putting more than one exercise together. Because the lessons are so short, um, it makes it to where it's not so overwhelming. If you were to combine some of the lessons in part, it's not asking too much of them. So there is that one. And those are all of the 
um, levels that we have currently that have not been completed. Okay guys, so I hope that seeing the inside of these books, each one of these levels that I have and also these Bible story books, I hope that seeing the inside of them has given you an idea. If you have never checked out master books before, um, or maybe you've done their math or something else and you hadn't really considered their language arts, I hope this gives you an idea of what to expect of it and kind of a better perspective of what's included. Um, like I said, it comes 100% from a Christian perspective and is completely a biblical world view, which is what I absolutely love about it. So if that is something that you're looking for out of your language arts curriculum, Master Books does it in a way that I haven't seen anybody else do it before. And um, it really is a good curriculum. And my son absolutely loves it. Uh, I gave him the choice to not do it this year, to choose something different, or um, to completely just kind of focus on the CC stuff. And he made the choice on his own to continue on um, with doing language lessons. So that makes me happy that I know that it's something that he enjoys as much as I enjoy it for him. And my girls really did like it too. If you're looking for a um, Charlotte Mason inspired something with some oral narration, really short lessons from a Christian perspective um, that is really has the Bible intertwined throughout the whole thing. Um, Master Books is where it's at. I can't recommend it enough. I think it is wonderfully done. I know that it has greatly helped my son, um, especially with his grammar. Definitely check out Master Books Language Arts if you have never checked it out before or if you've been even just a little bit curious. It's wonderful. And don't forget to head over to Jennifer's channel over at Family of Three Homeschool and give her video a watch. And also I will have the playlist linked in the description box so that you guys can go and check out all of the other um, channels, um, all of the other wonderful moms on there who also use Masterbooks and are just wanting to tell, tell you more about it because it is wonderful and we want we all want you to see and to know why we love it and why you should at least give it a consideration for your homeschool. So definitely check out their videos as well. And don't forget to hit the link in the description for the raffle copter and enter for your chance to win a $100 gift card um, to christianbook.com. That's really, really exciting. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and hit the like. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit subscribe. I would love to have you here as a part of my community. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.